y'all check it out. We have the 24 foot bay boat loaded up. Kind of chilly morning, but nice morning. So I know a lot of y'all are probably colder than us here in South Alabama because it doesn't get that cold down here. But man, do I love it. Should get the redfish bite fired up. Y'all, this is Steve with Bama Saltwater and I'm happy that you can join me today out on my boat. Let's get out and go catch us a big one this morning. But it is like glass over here. Can't wait to get out. Boat's launched. I gotta go park the truck and uh, we're gonna get to fishing. Y'all, we are surrounded by birds. Look at all the pelicans diving. I mean, everywhere. So these are probably feeding on a bunch of pogies. So I'm gonna cast out this swim bait and get after one. Y'all, there's some big fish crushing bait all over here. Don't quite know what they are, but I guess we'll find out. Be cool if they were red fish with that. It's redfish. Oh, there's a little shark too. All right. Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> I threw a Z-Man swim bait out there. It's hooked up. I mean, first pass. First pass of the swim bait. That is what I'm talking about, y'all. Heck yeah. I hope this is a big school of red because I've been on the Jack Kermal pretty good. Ooh, 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 look at that, man. That is a red fish. Oh, yeah. And there's a bunch of them, too, down there. Oh. <laughs> wow. How pretty are you? All right. That is so cool. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on. I just want to get you up on the boat. Oh, look at all of them trying to look at all of them around. And there's a Jack Craval too. Come on now. <laughs> this is awesome. This is what I look forward to this time of year. All right. He is in the net. Not very easy, but he's in it. Oh, wow. That's a big bull. Now that is a redfish, y'all. Heck yeah, one and a half of them. Look at that big old golden red. We're gonna let this big mama go. Hopefully she can make more. How cool. Let's let her go, y'all. <laughs> she gone, she swam off just fine. Let's get back on them birds again, but let me show you what I'm using real quick. I'm throwing a Z-Man five inch diesel minnows and bad shad with the two ounce Z-Man jig head. This is a striper eye jig head with about two feet of 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now I'm throwing that on a Shimano Saragosa 5000 with 30 pound braid. And this is a dark matter IO rod. It's a seven foot three inch. And it's pretty much a heavy power moderate action rod. Perfect for this application. Let's get back on one. That is so cool. Oh yeah. Redfish all over the place right now. I mean right beside the boat. That was cool. Dude, this is just insane. Got one. Got it. Uh, set the hook on them. And we're hooked up. Oh, dude, there's Jack Craval everywhere, too. Golly, this is absolutely insane right now. How cool. Woohoohoo! Look at all the fish blowing up. Man, there needs to be somebody out here. I wish my brother wasn't working because he would love this. Oh, dude. Big red fish. Big old bull red. Heck yeah. Look at him. Them head shakes. Boom. He's not as golden as that other one still awesome come on that's what i like about redfish though is they're a lot easier to get in than the jack craval see he's already in the net and getting on the boat oh dude 
I could legally keep that fish if I wanted to, because you're allowed one over slot, but I'm not. These are our big breeder stock. It's time to let her go. There you go, big girl. She gone. Let's get another one. Check my leader. Leader's good. Watch this. I like catching the redfish. The Jack Creval <laughs> are fun, but they'll wear you out. Another one. Immediately. <laughs> Instantly hooked up. This is, I mean, probably one of the cooler fishing days I've had so far this year in terms of just sheer numbers of big fish. <sighs> Come here. Staying with the school. I mean, there's really no other description for this other than absolutely insane. I mean, chaotic. How fun is that? He's taking me around. Oh, that one might be a jack curl out. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't know yet. <sighs> yeah, I think this one's going to be one of them big old jacks. <laughs> Come here like throwing it on heavy tackle because I release pretty much every one of these big fish most of the time. And so you want to get them in fairly quick so they don't die. Yeah, that's a big old jack. Whoa. And there's more. I mean, they're all over the place. Oh. Dude, come on, I just want to get you in. Uh, come here. Uh, uh, come here. Come here. Uh, oh, almost had his head in the net. These are a lot more difficult than the bull reds, in my opinion. They don't ever give up. Oh. Got him. Got him in the net. <laughs> See, like I said, they don't ever give up easy. Oh, this is why I enjoy fall time fishing. Oh, that's a brute. <laughs> that is a brute. John, this is a Jack Creval. There's no limits on these either. We're going to get him back. That's crazy. <laughs> these will wear you down. There you go, man. I'm like wanting to get them back. Those have okay table fare. I mean, they're not incredibly desired by most people, but you can't eat them and I have eaten them too. But as you can tell, I'm out of breath. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. Giant schools, I mean, acres of big fish. Plenty for everybody to get out here and catch them. Look at him going crazy. Chasing bait. Popping pogies out of the water. I'm just taking a second just to observe. I've already caught a lot of fish. This is, this is pretty amazing. I just cast down. <laughs> it's so fun catching these giant fish, man. Incredibly fun, y'all. I'm hoping this one's red. Caught a lot of jacks so far this year. I like the red fish. Red October, red November. Oh, he didn't quite like getting close to the boat and hear me talk. <laughs> uh, come here. 
Oh wow, that was one right beside my boat. Woo hoo hoo! Feisty joker. Let me just lay some eyes on you here. Another Jack Craval. Oh my gosh. Another Jack. Uh oh. Told y'all, these things have some power to them. I mean, straight up. Put this rod to test to use. Mm. All right, my net's all the way back there. Need to get the net. <laughs> the net's on the complete opposite side of the boat that I needed it to be. Holy bro. Head first is how you want to land them. We got it. <laughs> Those are tough. All right. Another big old jack. Here talking. That's a big joker. Woo. Okay. Let's uh <laughs> I'm out of breath, y'all. Let's let him go. I don't know what number of fish this is, but it's a beast. He gone. Oh man. You know, I've caught like two reds and two jacks. Is that it? I don't know. I just know that they're powerful. And I just want to show you, which I'm not sponsored by Z-Man, but these, but this is why I like using them. Look at that, stretchy. I've caught all those big fish on this one lure without changing it out, which there's not many soft plastics you can do that. So they can be a pain to rig up sometimes, but once you get them on there, add a little super glue and you got a bulletproof lure unless you get hung up or bit off. I don't know if I want to do this again, <laughs> just because I'm out of breath, but how can you turn down big fish like that? Let's do it. Uh oh. Oh, come on, pelican. Really? Oh. Well, got the pelican. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here. But I just want to show y'all, if you ever hook one or have line in them, never cut the line, okay? Because that's a good way to kill a bird, is if you cut it, they're going to fly away, get hung in a tree, and die. So in this scenario, in his wing he's not going to like me doing this i don't have somebody else to hold a uh, towel over his head there he goes and he got it out now he's good you never want to leave something in a bird i left that in this video just to show you accidents do happen but I got my lure back and he's and his wing is free and he's flying off just fine. You know, don't panic. If you have somebody else with you, it helps to have a towel, put it over their head and their beak. Because when they snap at you, it kind it can hurt. Oh well, there's a fish right there. Has some talking about the pelican. But I'm gonna throw this half ounce spro bucktail with some 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, running about a foot and a half of it. 4,000 size Shimano Stratic. 20 pound braid and a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod just to get one on light tackle for fun. I wonder if I can throw a top water on one. I bet I could. Oh, never mind. Got him. On the Stratic. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a fun fight here. This is a Jack Craval. The good thing about Jacks and Redfish too, but is they're very hardy. I mean, I try to throw big tackle at them so I can release them as fast as I can. 
but they'll survive fairly well compared to like a big speckled trout and this is a jack creval so you can throw a light tackle at them and have a blast this one's gonna probably gonna take me a while though but that was on the bucktail and this is 20 pound braid which is very strong even for like a 30 40 pound fish you just want to change your leader see there he is that didn't take too long i'm using 50 pound leader because these jacks do have teeth they're not super sharp but they are abrasive and then their tail is very sharp so if their tail hits your line there's a chance of them cutting you off but play the right drag and you can have tons of fun and this goes for the same off the beach off the pier just something that you can cast far and that's cheap because you might lose them you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on tackle to catch these things here he is Oh. all right i want to see again we're going to get you on the net side y'all this is just a day of catching big fish i mean golly we're going to get the net on them again see if we can get a nice show them to the camera uh oh uh oh, uh oh. Anytime they do that, you want to make sure you dip your rod down. Because if you hold it up and your rod gets into a U shape, there's a very high chance of you breaking your rod. It's called high sticking. You don't want to high stick fish. Come on, man. <laughs> get up here. See all what I mean by they don't really give up easy? Okay. Oh, man tough jokers i'm gonna open my bail give it some slack and we're gonna bring him in oh wow he got a lot heavier in the net all right and that wasn't too bad that made it fun see you don't have to have real big tackle to come out here and do this just need something strong and play the and play the fish right but see how he ate that bucktail jig <laughs> that's so cool we're gonna get him back and yeah, I mean, it's so hard to leave fish biting. I don't know, I might make another cast. But uh, before we throw them back though, I don't know if you can see, but they do have teeth. Not quite like bluefish, but you know, you want to use an appropriate leader. It's a lot easier catch and release with single hooks like jigs. He gone. I mean, you can come out here and use top water and jerk baits and all that, but I like changing them out with single hooks for this type of fishing. Got it now. Yep. Got you now, buddy. Oh, whoo. Powerful joker. I mean, really. I'm just trying to keep them right here beside the boat. Just to get them in fairly quick. Oh, that's a red. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I made one more cast. That's a redfish. Boom nice bull red oh, man that's what i wanted come on oh i should play him out a little bit longer to be honest there he is heck yeah dude that's awesome man that's that that's what i came out here for all right <laughs> a little sketchy on the net job there but i got him yes that's what i came out here for heck yeah don't worry girl we're gonna get you out all right hooks out oh and it has somebody circle hook in its mouth too hey we're gonna take that hook out of, out of your mouth too because somebody broke off <clears throat> okay got that circle hook out of her mouth somebody else's hook had broke off she is hook free piercing free and ready to go back 
Hey girl, there you go. I'm glad I was able to take that hook out of her mouth and that's a pretty recent hook. See how it didn't rust out? Somebody had broke off on a big red. That's a heartbreaker, but at least I was able to land her. Let's keep on fishing, y'all. Cast that Z-Man back out. They're boiling right here. I was about to go in. I'm like, how can you go in when you have thousands of fish out here? Hundreds of birds diving. You can't. <laughs> you have to stay out here and have fun. Just like that. Got it again. Another red. This is crazy. Insane redfish schools right now. Insane. On the swim bait. Look at that. What a pretty fish. Calm yourself. Okay. <laughs> these, these big girls are feeding on just thousands of these pogies. She don't want to come in. Come here. Get your head first in the net. Oh. There we go. Got her netted. So we need to get that lure out of her mouth. And it is. Boom. Wow, she's a big one. I mean wide, and I want to get her back healthy. She got one. Whoa, right behind the boat, right behind the boat. Those are reds, redfish. I just saw you. <laughs> oh, those are jacks. Those are jack crevals. <laughs> I want the redfish. There he goes. Woo. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Got him on the medium heavy. Ooh, I don't even know what to say anymore. Caught so many fish. And I mean, I've seen some big schools of fish and this is one of the bigger ones I've seen so far in terms of numbers i mean it's for like a straight mile of birds bait and big fish <sighs> try to get you in close to the boat get some of this line back he hit on the very beginning of the cast so pretty far out there There's some more. This cold front got them turned up. Feeding good, especially on a falling tide where it washes the spade out over the bar. That's a jack from Al, I can already tell you, just by the way he's going sideways and that tail's just throbbing. And I'm barely gaining anything on him. Yep, there he is. Big old Jack. And there's more with them. They don't like to run away from their, or be pulled out from their school. You'll make another turn around the boat. All right, guess I'll follow you down. Oh man. <laughs> oh wow well. falling drag and i'm having a blast right now oh hey he tried to come land on the boat <laughs> all right here he is oh uh oh uh oh uh oh mm. don't do that don't do that. There. Okay. See, when they're right below you like this, you don't want to pretty much go above level with your rod. Because that's what I was... I think I mentioned earlier. You don't want to high stick these fish because it's a good way of breaking your rod when they decide to dive down. So see how I'm kind of pretty much at plane or parallel to the water? 
you really don't want to go much higher than that okay here he is you gonna push my boat <laughs> all right come here i want to net you we'll get this hook out of you and then let you go on your happy way eating more eating more bait get your breakfast and brunch in there he goes okay <laughs> Woo, man that was fun a light tackle tell you that or semi light tackle i mean this light tackle for the gulf mets go no matter who you are a little 4,000 size reel once again big old jack Craval. <laughs> we're gonna let him go i'm done he's done he gets to go back to his house and i'm going back to mine Ooh, that's cool all right check it out y'all i hope you enjoyed fishing there with me because that was just an insane there was a plethora of bait hanging around and just a ton of big giant fish i mean we could be out here all day casting but you can only do it so much <laughs> this is typical of that fall to early winter type in mobile bay and the gulf of mexico you get these north winds come in where the bay gets kind of choppy but you can come around the point and get out on the beach look for birds look for bait hit up some rigs or go fish some reefs and it's usually a good time so what i am going to do is probably load the boat up and see at home and i'm going to go over the tackle breakdown once more just in case you missed it at the beginning so you can be successful next time you go so i will see y'all loaded up and at the house hey so i just made it back home rinse the boat off flush the new yamaha 250 which actually now has like 90 hours on it been using it pretty good so far it's been running smooth primarily today i was throwing the z-man i strike jig head which this one's uh, kind of bent out and funky looking because it caught a lot of fish but this is a two ounce jig head the z-man five inch diesel minnows in a bad shad color and about two feet a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader this is Seaguar fluorocarbon. There's a whole bunch out there. Just something abrasion resistant really helps. On here, I have a little black barrel swivel. A lot of times you can do a uni to uni knot to your braid as well. But the reel I was throwing that on was a Shimano Stratic 5000 with 30 pound braid. And this is the dark matter seven foot three inshore offshore model rod, which will be linked down below if you want to pick you one up. This one's actually the MS. The other setup I was throwing, which I have another Z-Man on there, but I was also throwing a half ounce bucktail jig by Spro, but with 50 pound fluorocarbon as well. This one actually has a uni to uni knot to my braid, but just to have a little bit more fun, it's throwing a Shimano Stratic 4000 with 20 pound braid and a seven foot St. Croix Avid inshore rod. This is a medium heavy power fast action. Hope that helps you to rig up next time you go fishing, whether it's a beach boat or pier, you can still catch those jacks and reds, especially this time of year and in the middle of summer. If you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy content like this, go hit that subscribe button. Please share these videos. Helps the channel grow some more. I love sharing all these experiences with each and every one of y'all. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. Most importantly, and as always, I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later 360 degrees pretty much of birds around me so cool